from Michigan, and she, uh, she's asking, do we build monolithic domes or, um, let's see, what was the other one? Monolithic domes or monolithic earth berm greenhouses? You want to well, talk? <laughs> uh, sure. It, um, we actually, we build geodesic domes. Um, and, it, and really a difference between monolithic and geodesic is, I guess there's two main differences. One is usually the materials that they're made out of. And a monolithic dome essentially is uh, often concrete, I think almost always concrete, um, at least for the structural ones. And they just form one, you know, like semi-sphere. It's just kind of a one piece shell where a geodesic dome is made out of more traditional uh, construction materials for homes and, and therefore it's, it's made out of uh, straight pieces that form triangles and kind of give you the spherical shape. So they're really two different types of domes. Um, they're both obviously domes, so they're gonna be somewhat spherical, but a monolithic dome is gonna be more of a smooth sphere, where ours is gonna be a little more angular because it's made out of straight components, uh, which makes it easier to build, construct more, uh, you know, user-friendly materials and you can expand on it. You can do things with it. Uh, it's a little easier to punch a hole into a geodesic dome than a monolithic dome, for instance. Um, so we don't really, we're not really in the monolithic business, but um, I'm not sure if there's really too many, if there, I, don't, I know those one guys, I'm not sure if they're still doing it or not, but for like an earth berm home, something like that is going to, is going to perform better because it's going to be concrete. And so it's going to give you a little bit more strength in that respect to try to hold back, you know, the ground. Um, and if you're on and you want to ask a question, if we're maybe not addressing what you're wondering about, but, but yeah, we do geodesic domes, it's a little bit different, so. Do you ever do geodesic earth berm homes? Um, um, oh, I can answer that question real quick. Uh, back in 1980, I did um, 18 to 20 earth burned homes and one of which uh, did partially earth covered on part of the roof. These weren't domes. These were an adjunct to what we were doing back then. And what happened, and this is, this is what happened. It's the underground space center was at the University of Minnesota. That was a big deal in the 70s and 80s, late 70s and 80s. What we really discovered was the energy savings, which is what people were after at that point wasn't worth the cost. And as far as a dome concern, to try to put dirt on a dome, it's gonna slide down when it gets down to that bottom part. I won't go into the long detail of it, but I, we even had a book out and the name that I gave it was Earth Architecture. And these 20 houses are still around. I run into people and I go, they say, hi Dennis. And I go, oh, who are you? You know, well, I own one of your houses. And, so, no, uh, you really, you're going to have more energy efficiency in our domes. That's why we said we started to go to 12 inch, 15 inch, 18 inch, 21 inch, 24 inch walls that are cheap. So we can get you, you want an R82, you want an R90? We can oh. do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Really easy. I'm you looking know. to get completely off the grid. So the, the reason why I was thinking about the earth berm home is just because it helps with the temperature of the home. But ours does too. Okay. Because we're dealing with, we're dealing with radiant floor heating here. This is Minnesota. Like I said, we've got three days coming up. Minus two is the high. Our yearly bill, the average for the last 10 years, I just did that. The average is $530 a year. That's we're amazing. 3,200 3, square feet of space, 2,100 square feet on the main floor, and another 1,100 square feet on the upper floor. And that's okay. the, uh, this is, you know, this is Minnesota. We're in north central. We're, you know, up, not on the bottom. We're in the middle of Minnesota. So this is what we're saying is that we can do this. We've got an R64 in the walls, triple pane windows. Wow. This is the sort of things that are going to do you good. Thank you. Earth just isn't going to do it. Okay. 